kemana? Kemasira pa yung ano nya? Terminal nya? I'm walking alone the streets are empty The only thing I can see is my own silhouette Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we have here an inverter welding machine MOSFET type. It's already checked by the owner and tried to repair it, but he didn't successfully fix it. Disclaimer, if you're not a qualified technician, please don't DIY. It may cause you on injury or totally damage tooth you need. Upon opening this unit I notice one of their resistor is already replaced. The value of the resistor is 47 ohms 10 watt, the original is 5 watt. Maybe the original resistor is burnt. That's why he replaced it with a bigger one. But this resistor doesn't get easily burnt. If the ceramic capacitor connected to it is okay. The value of the capacitor is to 20 picofarad by 2 kV. Let's check it later if it's shorted. This type of inverter welding machine is heavy duty. It has a 20 pieces of power MOSFET. And the output diode is 16 pieces. Let's remove this board and check if the capacitor is okay or not. After checking the ceramic capacitor, I found out that it's shorted. That's why the original resistor is burnt and replaced by the owner. But he didn't replace the shorted capacitor. The one end of the resistor is connected to the source of 5 power MOSFET. The resistor is connected in series to the shorted capacitor. And one end of the capacitor is connected to drain of the 5 power MOSFET. So, since the capacitor is shorted, you can find shorted leads between the drain and source of the power MOSFET. And this is not right. Let's check the resistance between the drain and source of the power MOSFET. It's 49 ohms, that's not normal. That resistance is cause by the resistor connected to a shorted capacitor. To fix this problem, let's replace the shorted capacitor. After removing the shorted capacitor, the resistance between the drain and source of the power MOSFET is gone.
This ceramic capacitor is shorted. We need to replace it. The value of the capacitor is to 20 picofarad by 2 kV. We should replace it with exact replacement. I don't have an exact replacement. That's why I connect to for 70 picofarad in series. Legit Tech knows that this will work. After checking some of the parts, if it's okay. I notice a bird connector. That black wire is connected. From the negative of the bridge rectifier diode go into the negative of the main filter. And storage capacitor. The burnt connection should be fixed. And also check the bridge rectifier diode if it's okay. To fix the burnt connection, I cut the wire and resolder it directly to the negative of the main filter capacitor. After checking the bridge rectifier diode, I found out the diode is shorted. The value is 35 amper 1000 volts. It has a one diode shorted inside the bridge rectifier. Let's replace it with a new one. If you're substituting parts, replace it with equal or higher in value, never replaced with lower value than the original. We have here an exact replacement of the bridge rectifier diode.
After replacing all the faulty parts, the welding machine now is okay and ready for testing. Let's check the output voltages. It's 80 volts DC. Okay, let's try to weld. But the costumer didn't bring the negative or grounding cable. Let's try it anyway. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please subscribe. And don't forget to like share and hit the notification bell to update you if I have a new upload video. The welding machine is now working. See you in my next video. Bye bye. I'm walking alone streets.